Hi, the SI Meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Friday, October 25th, a chilly morning here in the Mid-Atlantic region, way below normal for this time of the year. This morning was a few degrees colder than yesterday morning at this time with uh, low temperatures, not too far from freezing, some patchy frost in the suburbs here in the Philadelphia area, north and west of the city, up and down the I-95 corridor this morning. The suburban locations are in the 30s, and it looks like Late tonight, early tomorrow will be a couple of degrees even colder, probably the coldest night of this stretch of unseasonal chill here in the Mid-Atlantic region with temperatures at or slightly below freezing by tomorrow morning at this time up and down the suburban locations along the I-95 corridor from D.C. to Baltimore, Philadelphia, and New York City. Widespread frost is possible late tonight in those suburban locations uh, 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 along the I-95 corridor as temperatures again should drop to at or slightly below freezing by early Saturday morning. Here's the very latest surface map. Just a tremendously large and expansive high pressure system controlling this chilly weather pattern here in the eastern half of the nation. Continuation of strong northwest flow of air over the Great Lakes will again produce some lake effect type snows uh, today into tonight. They certainly some of the snow belt areas have received accumulating snow over the last 24 to 48 hours or so and there will be a continuation of that threat for some lake effect snow uh, anywhere from the mountains of central Pen Pennsylvania to the west areas just downwind of the Great Lakes. Now this high continues to move slowly to the east over the next 12 hours or so tonight. We'll set up for very uh, nice conditions for temperatures to drop as winds will be light to calm and skies should be mostly clear and again the coldest night yet could very well be uh, coming tonight, late tonight and tomorrow morning. Temperatures should be at or even slightly below freezing in the suburban locations along the I-95 corridor. Well, here's the latest infrared satellite loop from the SSEC Wisconsin website. Really, lots of clear skies nationwide with that expansive high-pressure system, which again is centered right in this region right here. There's a little disturbance out in the southwestern part of the country and certainly some patchy clouds downwind of the Great Lakes. Again, the flow of air around that high pressure is clockwise, which is generating northwest winds along the still relatively mild waters of the Great Lakes and cold air on top of the warmer waters for this time of the year uh, spell trouble in terms of lake effect snow and indeed that's what's happened in many locations over the last 24 hours or so and again there will be some snow showers again today from the mountains of central Pennsylvania on west all across the Great Lakes region. Here's the latest radar loop from the Penn State Meteorology E-Wall site. Some white showing up here in the higher elevations. This is indicative of snow shower activity. Some rain also mixed in here. Again, this will probably increase in intensity a little bit over the next few hours. Some snow shower activity will continue today across the Great Lakes region mixed in with rain at times. Should stay dry south and east of the mountains, but as was the case yesterday, Clear morning skies will give way to some partly sunny afternoon skies as some cumulus clouds do build up south and east of the Appalachian Mountains in the I-95 corridor and all the way to the east coast. Well, let's take a look at a few uh, forecast maps for this weekend into the early part of next week. This is using last night's Zero-Z GFS global forecast system model run. Uh, we're look, looking at tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, then we'll jump ahead to Sunday morning and Monday morning. Well, tomorrow morning will be a frosty start in the suburban locations of Long I-95. Again, I believe this will probably be the coldest night yet in this stretch of unseasonal chill here in the Mid-Atlantic region with temperatures dropping quickly this evening and bottom, bottoming out at, at or slightly below freezing in the suburban locations to the north and west of the big cities along I-95. Widespread frost is possible late tonight, early tomorrow morning. After the frosty start, it will uh, be, become mostly sunny on Saturday and temperatures will modify a little bit. High pressure continuing to drive to the south and east into the southeastern part of the country. Still be on the cool side, no doubt about it on Saturday with temperatures below normal, but perhaps a few degrees warmer 
than uh, what will occur today and what occurred on Thursday. By Sunday, much the same, dry and still cool on the cool side of normal for this time of the year. A little bit of a weak frontal system will come through. It should come through on the dry side and kind of reinforce the cool air will stay uh, relatively cool on uh, Monday and Tuesday. However, those days will probably see uh, a little bit more in the way of modification of temperatures to perhaps the low to mid 60s in the uh, I-95 big cities. Again, on Monday and Tuesday, a little bit closer to normal, but a continuation of uh, dry conditions here. Let's jump ahead to the Monday morning forecast map. And here we go, behind that weak frontal system that will come through later in the weekend, we have another high pressure system building in for the early part of next week. So certainly dry conditions will rule here in the I-95 corridor right through the uh, Tuesday period of next week. It looks like there will be a strong front crossing the country next week, and it could arrive in the Mid-Atlantic region right around Halloween, Thursday of next week. And we'll, co of course, monitor that situation early next week. Well, that's it for now for the SIWeather.com. Uh, get ready for perhaps the coldest night yet in this unseasonable chilly stretch of weather here in the Mid-Atlantic region with temperatures at or below freezing in most suburban locations by early Saturday morning. That's it for now. I'm the SI meteorologist, Paul Dorian.